It is the last big holiday weekend in the summer. Some lakeside businesses are hoping to make up for a lot of lost ground. Fox 23's Eddie Randall reporting live in Cherokee County at Sequoia Lodge, where they're seeing fewer guests. I found out the recent decline isn't the lake levels. Clay Cruz here at Sequoia Lodge tell me ever since school started back up, the crowds have gone down, and they're hoping a three-day weekend will bring in attendance. Even though the lakes did rise during the summer, it wasn't too bad. Sam Velasquez, food and beverage manager at Sequoia Lodge, says although the high lake levels kept people off the lake, their numbers didn't take too much of a dive. And he credits that to all of the other activities they have. There's still hiking and there's um, going and riding on the stables uh, with the horses. They also have golf and a swimming pool, which Delana Chipman says her and her family take advantage of when they come to the lodge. But she says what she likes most the recent upgrades. It's awesome. It's really nice and updated and it's very pretty and very accommodating. Workers tell me they closed down last winter and reopened at the end of January with a brand new lodge. Of course, we do have a restaurant here right at the lodge. Velasquez tells me because people were unsure of the lake levels, numbers were unpredictable. Quite a few. We did have a, quite a few cancellations. But things are looking better for the upcoming holiday weekend. Workers showed me how they are 92% booked and they say the remaining rooms and cabins are filling up quick. Workers tell me they've called in additional employees and they will be fully staffed for this holiday weekend. Reporting live in Cherokee County, covering news that matters. I'm Eddie Randall, Fox 23 News. Fox